Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with me, the Canarian. Now, I think I've found a way for us to get what we want in Denmark. Um, this is just going to be a little test of it. Um, we're going to try and get matrimonial and marriage with this dude using our sister. Hopefully, what that will result in will be a claim that we can press to take Denmark. Um, we'll have to see. Because... He does he has claim on both kingdoms, Denmark and Sweden. And it's a matrilineal marriage, which is quite nice. So it could work out. We'll deal with that army in a short while. And I believe I just saw a Norwegian army go that way. Might not be a bad idea to go in there and try and see if we can bump them off. Is the rebellion over? Because, who are these dudes? Um, yeah, the rebellion seems to be over for Norway. Good for them. Ah, daughter was born to me. Um, no, we're not going to call her Mahout. We will call her something much better. Um, we'll call her Bronwen. Why not? Bronwen, our Dagon. Marvellous. Okay, the family grows. She's fertile. Fantastic. More our dagons we can throw about if we get a matrimonial one with her. I think we're going to have to pursue their forces because I don't think this is going to go any faster. And I don't want this to go on any longer. It's 1291, three years since the end of the rebellion. And, God, well, yeah... We've been fighting in this little dingy place. It's horrible. Right, okay. In you go. And... We're on 66. Good sign. Very good sign. Um, <laughs> for a moment, I thought those were separate states. I thought there was a rebellion going on. I was thinking, oh yeah, let's get in there. But their water... Water doesn't do much rebelling. Surprisingly enough. Right. Um, could we split up these forces? I don't know. Let's get let's get the various kings of France and everywhere to lead this these this amazing army. Um release one of our prisoners. Absolutely not. Let's go and crush some military forces, eh? Um, slowly mastering the art of diplomacy. Marvellous. That's great. Maybe he'll be a better king than you are. Okay, that's all captured. Let's go after them. 79. We're so bloody close. Oh, um... I thought that was lower. Not good enough. My rules for sieges is basically that. Unless you have ten times the amount of men that you do, they do... There is absolutely no point risking the chance that you're not going to win the siege. Oh, we lost someone. Spymaster, did they die or something? Oh well, Richard. You are now our lord. Um, I was inspecting the damage to the highest tower in... No, no, no. When the head of... When the head of Ra I was worried he was dead then. The head of Raimundo appeared outside the window 50 meters above ground. What should I do with this curious child? Um... Yeah, curiosity never killed anyone. Just maimed or murdered them or wounded them. Teach him a lesson? Um... Nope. Let's not. Um... Strictly forbid him. Right, okay, let's go with this. Ah, oh, marvellous, he's become honest. Phew! The... The other alternatives were not quite as nice as that. Right, okay, by crushing that army, we've freed ourselves up a lot. Very nice. Do me, dear me, I do hope we can finish off some of these places and get this going, because we can have this war with, with Denmark. Come on. Juicy war with Denmark. Um, betrothed may marry. Marvellous. Is that going through? Uh, act properly English. Marvellous. Okay, the king of 
the future king of Spain is English. Claim Open London. No, no, we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna call them into our war. We may have to declare war against them soon, so we're not gonna do that. Um We request that you honor your obligation and call to arms against the King of Croatia. Um Right. What are you doing? Oh, that's part of Denmark. Yeah, I'm not going to help you. Okay, we lost 100 prestige, but, you know, people can't say that King John isn't a prestigious man already. He doesn't need the prestige. He can do what the hell he wants. He's a big boy now. Right, okay, so Norway's fighting a war. Did they declare that one? If they did, then they're really stupid. Yeah, I think they did. No, no, no. They're defending against uh, this dude here. Oh, my God, my voice went funny. Oh, yeah, let's properly end this rebellion, shall we? Another place captured, another place captured, and hopefully that should be the end of this. We'll go down and beat them up again, and maybe that'll teach them what's what. Because getting a little bit fed up with them and their antics, their ability to somehow be weaker than all of that great rebellion, yet that greater rebellion was easier to put down than them. You two are supposed to be in the same place. Um, and how is Scotland dealing with it? Is she still queen? She is! Good on you. Well done. You've dealt with those rebellions well. I don't know how the hell you did it, but well done. Or maybe you're not doing it. I don't know. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Or don't. I don't know. Uh, the Earldom of Ely. Where is that? Oh, there. They're not rebelling against you, are they? If they are, then that's pretty unfortunate, to be honest. Oh, I've got it bloody well paused. I was wondering why nothing was happening. Okay. Slow it down a bit. Uh, my lord. Okay. Clap their leader in chains. Marvellous. I always clap people in chains. It's the best way to do things. Okay, and this should pretty much end this, I would have thought. It'll end it, and it'll give us a nice, juicy piece of Norway to run away with. Um... Back our plot to fabricate a claim on... Nope. I'm sorry, but... No. Um, anyway... Mend the schism. Um, Prince Bishop of Roma is paper state. Religion, one of them must be true. Um, um, okay. Right, okay. Okay, so we're not, we're gonna have a bit of trouble getting to that. Oh, okay, no, he, he's he's just has usurped the title from her. Good for him. Bloody Gaelic! Damn them! And then we can finally end this war and look towards fighting Denmark. We haven't just like stolen their son totally at all to try and enforce a claim of his upon the. Denmarkians and therefore underhandedly take control of a large part of the north. No! Um, excuse me. This did not work out as I had foreseen. Oh, uh, wait! Mm. Um, um, So, 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 when your, your heirs are the same, right? Yes. So we'll inherit that, I hope. 
that would be quite annoying if I'd just done all of that for nothing. Anyway, um, enough of that. Let's stand down these forces. We'll just assume that that's worked for the moment. I think it's the best way to deal with life. Assuming things. Okay. Um, peasant Rebellion shall end in a small bit. Raimundo is doing great. Fantastic. And we'll stand down. I know we lost a few people there, I think, but I'm... Oh, there we go. Just took a little bit of clicking into place. Marvellous. Look at that. Starting to take it all. Next step, eh? Somewhere else. Oh, look. We can claim it for another random person. Or we could claim it for... Oh, King Cormac of Scotland. Now, is it wise to make him that strong? Maybe not, but we've crushed rebellions before. We could claim Denmark for ourselves. Yeah, that sounds like a nice thing to do, I think. Alternatively, we could also claim Sweden. Now, which one do we want first, Sweden or Denmark? I think we'll go with Denmark. Seems like more fun. Okay. Uh, build an observatory. What will this do? Um, yeah, I'm going to build an observatory. Why not? I am not afraid to do the building of said observatories at all. Okay, Norway. Yeah, you're not going to be 10 out of 10 for this. Denmark, how many men can you raise? Ooh, a mighty army. A mighty army. Let me just see how many I can pull together. Hmm. I might be able to outnumber them slightly. Just by about, you know, almost 190,000 men to 40,000. Okay, so let's not boast anymore. You all get on the ships. We'll also raise up the French. I think that alone will probably do it, really. So if we took these two fleets... I mean, there's a hundred thousand men. It's not like that's a force to be joked with. Can we land any of our forces anywhere? No, um... Is this trade zone controlled by somebody else? I don't know. We'll go into the Kattegat. And we'll drop off our forces. Hmm. Don't like this lack of army. <laughs> I like the way I've got the King of France leading this army. I'm probably going to have the King of... the <laughs> Some sort of leader of England leading the French forces. But no. No, we'll have Cougis. The Bretons. And, oh yeah, 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 we'll have me. English leading the French and the French leading the English. Best way to do things in life, eh? Right. Going nicely through that little gap. Okay, and we will land those forces there. And these forces here. I think what we'll do is we'll divide these forces up into... Oh, we're ill. Not a good sign. Okay. Time to divide up our, soldier our forces into occupation forces. And keep them very nice and close in case we have any complications. So, a force is going to go and occupy that bit. Another force is going to go and occupy that bit. And I'm going to send a force to go and occupy that bit. And then a force is going to stay here. Beautiful, lovely, fantastic. Okay. And then we're going to take these forces. Divide them up even more. We could probably divide them up again, but I'd rather not. So, send a force there. Another one there. Another one there. Keep one here. And if they're still taking attrition, maybe we'll throw some people over here to capture things. 
But all in all, we have a reasonable fleet, I think. A reasonable fleet, a reasonable occupation force. Ooh, marry can happen. Nope. They won't accept the matrilineal, but hey, we've got the betrothal in. So that'll do fine. What is this, and why is this here? Al Fatimidin Revolt. Right, marvellous. Good for you guys. Rebel against the Al Fatimidin. And. Yep, everybody's moving. But I'm doing that thing where I keep it paused again. I need not to do that because you know what's funny? The game doesn't work if you keep it constantly paused. Um. Okay, good. Everyone's happy. It'd be funny if we could call in allies into this. Right, okay. I think this is a good start to the occupation of Denmark. Yeah, I think it is. It's a fantastic start. Technology. Let's just check over things. Laws. Is there anything that we want to do? Apparently, we can't change anything in these laws at the moment. I haven't reigned... Really, King John IV hasn't reigned ten years. That is interesting. Um, religion and just checking all my tabs right okay I think everything is okay here how angry are people at keeping things raised um this these guys but they should be fine is Poland no, Poland still hasn't dealt with its rebellion they're like two kids have been at war for I don't know how long and finally they I think they're going to actually you know grow up yeah let's have a religious conversion let's spread that spread that beautiful Catholicism eh we may become a Waldenesian soon though could request everyone to convert although that would almost certainly mean that France would be like nah ah oh man we're not converting then again actually this might be the best time to try and do it because this guy absolutely fucking loves me and so does that dude it is going to be difficult for my uh, son to deal with this he's not exactly quite um he's not he's not top notch I mean he's a steward he's not bad you know if he was if he was going to just steward things then it'd be fine Right, okay, he's Catholic. His vassals, I think, are going to still be Catholic now. Um, call in allies. Claim Denmark. Yeah, I'm fine if you like them. That's okay. You don't have to be friends with me, you know, all the time. Just most of the time. That's, that's nice. Okay, um, where did we succeed in occupying? Ah, here. We will ask the family along with us. I'm glad we're taking no attrition. Oh, shit. Okay, and here's the point at which we realise... Ah, so that's what our empire is for. Um, yeah, things just got a lot more complex. Right, we're going to need forces from Spain... We're going to need forces from Ireland. No, oh, that's that's still technically Spain, is it? And we will bring these forces. Let's get at them on the ships. We'll bring them around here. We will form a lovely little blockade here. And we will stop them from coming up, okay? And we'll also have to deal with them um, occupying our current territories. Hmm, there's one of their armies. Probably be best if we if we occupy their central territories, then we use this, these armies to go and smash the Holy Roman Empire and the Denmark armies. Oh, because the Holy Roman Empire is literally the only one who could possibly rival us in military power. Um, they've got a reasonable force. Have we got enough ships here to transport them? Yes. 
so we will hit these guys up here as well. Spanish forces, stand them down there. Raise them here, raise the fleet. I don't think that's going to be enough. It is, it is, it is enough. Um, and yeah, so that should form a good basis for a military force. Raise the Scots. Not many Scots at the moment, because a lot of them are in rebellion. And we'll get... We'll get them. Not all of them, apparently. Um, there's yet another rebellion as well. You know, I'm starting to wonder whether or not Scotland is cut out for being a kingdom. Anyway. Um, yes. Okay, so the plan is sorted. And we're at the end of this episode anyway. So, um, the current plan will be to hold off the Holy Roman Empire. We're not going to peace out this time for an easy, easy game. We're going to defeat them. We're going to show them who is the power on the continent. And once we've defeated them, that should give us pretty free reign to uh, mop up some other things like Leon. Because I think then we'll have uh, exhausted our main efforts in the north. Maybe have a look at this one. But anyway, that's stuff to talk about next time. Um... I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, leave a like or a comment. Also, share this video as it really helps out the channel. And subscribe to see more. And I'll see you in the next episode. Have fun.